especially in uh, skydiving, there is no gender bias out of India. India, I have seen the bias, but I will say it's uh, the gap is getting filled up. Uh, but still, there are only three or four Indian women who are part of skydiving community right now. Uh, youngsters are coming up, but it's expensive sport. So some parents think that, okay, but after marriage, you think of skydiving or some kids, uh, some parents are saying, okay, if you want to pursue skydiving as a career, then earn that, that amount of money and from savings, you can do it. So youngsters who wants to do it, uh, since the college time or still they do the job, they are getting suffered right now. So that's the reason I opened my Skydiving Academy, which is Phoenix Skydiving Academy. It's a charitable trust. And I wanted to um, take those kids who have the spark, you know, from the rural area or urban area, anything, you know, from city or anywhere. But I'd, in my academy also didn't get the uh, right amount of the benefits or uh, I would say donations. So I'm also having uh, some uh, restrictions to support these kids. But soon, um, actually, uh, government of India is saying that soon we will get the funds. So I have some kid, list of kids uh, who can be a, a face of India in coming, in coming years uh, competitions. Yeah. So let's